people just don't can't take a joke, Chris. God. You did cut in, front, in line in front of us for the taco bar. You used Travis's mother <laughs> not only makes a great cobbler and a great pie, she is an excellent battering ram uh-huh. when one is hungry and one needs to get to the top. She's a six-foot-tall, sturdy line. woman. Don't yes, she mess is. with her. Yes, she is. That's she, why I said she makes an excellent battering ram. She is a woman and, of the land. And an excellent cobbler. She uses a push lawnmower for crying out loud. Right? Okay. Without she, a motor. Doesn't she rope trees? Yes. Right. Pulls down branches. Whatever that is. Whatever that is, farm people. Okay. Um, <laughs> You've never been on a farm in your life, have you? Sure I have. Have you? Yes. <laughs> It's just it, uh, something old. I, we visited a farm when I was uh, in, I don't know, it was high school, I think. And it was a, all I remember is there was a uh, horse with the largest uh, penis I'd ever seen that was uh, oh. actually touching the ground. And then there was a bull lying down and it had the largest balls I'd ever seen. Right. It was like a porn farm. Right. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know whether that was just like happening for me because I didn't never seen a horse with a thing completely down like that. But it was, uh, I was like, wow. Animals have genitalia too. Yeah. Like, okay. Thank I don't you. think I ever saw Is horses that, like that. I, I think that could be Travis's autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> Life of a farm boy. Animals have genitals, too. Okay. <laughs> could we focus on the uh, parade this morning? Because I... I... This is... <laughs> it's too much. It was exhausting four years ago. I... Okay. I, it, you're right, Travis. It is not. It is an evil clown car mm-hmm. of I, <laughs> at this point of yeah. ridiculous lawsuits and ridiculous people that are left in this whole charade. I, I get there's a part that is deadly serious yes. to life and death mm-hmm. and the pandemic and our national security, but this is okay. So this was the breaking news. When was this? The, last night last or this night. morning? That was late last night. The two Republicans on the Wayne County, Michigan Board of Canvassers now want to rescind their vote yes. to certify the 2020 election results in their county, result, uh, releasing an affidavit late Wednesday night that seeks to double back on their flip flop from just one day. Where's my flipper but music? Take back one day seats. earlier, uh, odious racist Monica Palmer and William Hartman. Remember those names, kids. They'll be in the history books. Yeah. So they obviously got pressure from. Sure. Trump and yeah. other odious but, racist Republicans did not count the vote votes in, in Detroit. Yeah. Yes, there should be an investigation when you see their phone records, their emails, their text messages, yeah. their WhatsApp. Well, yeah, the the votes, a little time. pressured them. The votes have already been certified, so yeah, this once is again, completely moot. Yeah. Once again, this is something that you're like, this can't happen. But then you're like, it's Trump. So I mean, the very fact that they're trying to get this thrown into yeah, court, into no, into the House. That's their yeah. hail mary. So that because apparently some there's more state Republicans, something that it would they literally could steal an election from 80 million Americans and just give it to Trump in the house. I OK. I, OK. So um, what was the um, Monica? Please. And thank uh, you. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. She claims contrary to what she was told on Tuesday, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson has not pledged to conduct an audit of the county's votes to clear up minor minor clerical errors found. It's not clear if this will have any effect on certification vote that has been closed and registered with the state. I, I'm going to say no. She says no. I'm, but I, it, it is, there's just nothing they won't do, right. apparently. It, I don't, okay. I don't even know what to. So, then the other thing is yesterday, the Pennsylvania judge said he's heard enough from Rudy Giuliani <laughs> and canceled the scheduled evidentiary hearing because there is no evidence, so you can't have an evidentiary hearing. Right? Everything Rudy said in the courtroom was not in the complaint. There's no fraud in the complaint. There's no evidence. Rudy admitted there's no fraud, and it's an evidentiary hearing about fraud, so why would there be? Right, right. There's no fraud, so there's no evidence. Yes. According uh, to Rudy. A court watcher said, context, Rudy Giuliani admitted in court yesterday this is not a fraud case in explaining why the judge saw no need to hold a hearing on fraud evidence when Giuliani said the case doesn't in- actually involve fraud allegations. So that was... So what's the case oh, about? Oh, and then this morning, new... <laughs> <laughs> this one's amazing. Is this just going to go on until what? December 14th? Yes. Until the... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even later. Uh-huh. They're going to they're gonna try anything they can. We need to be prepared for anything up until he takes his hand off the Bible. OMG. New legal filing asked the court to allow the Trump campaign to count Pennsylvania's mail-in ballots. <laughs> 
They literally are asking, can we have the outside the envelope and what was inside the envelope so they can check the signatures Everything, and the registration? They keep claiming that, oh, we weren't, no, didn't get to watch. There were no Republicans in the room. We Yes, that has been debunked a million times yeah. that there were, as always, a Republican and a Democrat watching the counting. Are they, is this like, like the Santa's, like they're all, you know, we just want to take the votes up to our shop and we're going to count them up there. Yeah, that's exactly or By ourselves and then we'll bring them back here. There's here. a light broken. We'll let you know. There's a light broken on these votes. I'll get that to you. Wait, how much you want to bet like no one gets to watch but them? Oh, absolutely. No, no, no. Just give them to the Trump campaign. What could possibly go wrong? The originals, not copies, the originals. <laughs> There's a light broken on this, on these Christmas votes. <laughs> Take it up there, and then we'll bring them back here. Oh, it turns out there are only two votes for Joe Biden. Oh. And they're both by Cindy Lou Who, who's no more than two. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this That's tree. That's what it is. That won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. Okay. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back right here. Right back here. Okay, I'm not a lawyer, but <laughs> what the actual... <laughs> That's not going to happen either, right? No. I mean, no. 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 They have won one out of 25 cases now. No, 27. Now. We're at 27. 27? Oh, 27, 27 now. Oh, but they've won one Nicely out of 27 done. cases now. Nicely so, done. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, cheap ass moho can't afford a whole recount in Wisconsin. Right. <laughs> so it's a partial recount of just the Blackberries. Yeah. They, they had to. They had to scramble for you know coins between the cushions of their couch. Right. Here. It, it, how much this, do we get with this? All his pockets are outside. I'm like, yeah. I don't. Oh, eight million for the homie. I don't have that on me. Yeah. How much? I gladly we... pay you tomorrow for what a hamburger about, today and also a, re this? a recount. What about these save the election, save, stop the steal fundraisers that he's been sending out at, emails for? At least they've gotten wise, get the money up front, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll do a recount at our expense and wait for... We'll need a cashier's check. Um, Yes, Donald Trump to seek partial recount in Wisconsin. This will not uh, change the outcome of the election, oh, but, will allow, but will allow Trump to lose another recount, making him the biz, biggest loser of recounts ever. Trump and his allies are one. And that was yesterday, one in 25 in court. Uh, Mark Elias, Let uh, me Demo guess. Democratic they, election lawyer. They want to count the black areas. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is just the right. Just the yeah. black areas. Yes, of just Wisconsin. the black areas. Yes, right. Of course. Right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> so, oh, Peter Marks with just a point of order. If it's been, oh. more, more people have voted against Trump than any person in American history, if that's of any consequence yeah. to anybody. Sure. I mean, the fact, but isn't, okay, is it me? Is he <laughs> committing more impeachable offenses in the transition uh -huh. than possibly in the whole presidency? That, okay. Isn't all of this prosecutable? What he's this, all of this, all of this. I would hope so. Okay. Could at least take it to court, like he's taken everything to court on his side. Right. Okay. I'm just, just sometimes, sometimes this segment is just getting me up to date from you just know, what's happened yeah. from one staircase, from sure, right what, up there to right down here. What I'm discovering in all of this, though, is that there are a lot of norms that are being broken, but not a lot, but laws. These norms, but need, aren't they laws? These norms need to be codified into laws so that yeah. we are yeah. absolutely sure that what he's I, doing is wrong. Okay, I believe in Lindsey Graham's case that would be a law. Yes, I believe election right. fraud, and, election and, tampering. Right. And would Richard be. Painter has filed an ethics complaint with the uh, with the Senate Ethics Committee. Right, I know. Yeah, but so Lindsey Graham's perhaps goose is perhaps <laughs> a temperature that is not ideal. Right, for it to degrees. for it to live. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see about that. Yeah, except it all sounds like, you know, he asked to me, frankly, it's like, oh, an ethics, oh, we give slap on the wrist. No, he belongs in prison yeah. for that. Right? It's, you know, and then Maybe there will be some discovery in that ethics complaint that will lead to charges. <sighs> okay. You know, right. it's, it's, you're there, just, now you're throwing me a bone because well, I'm the, because I'm the boss. Well, there, there are, you know, careful ways of doing things. Right. You know, and, and Richard yeah. Painter knows his stuff. That's not what I'm in a mood for. I'm in a mood for careful. Well, if cautious and Lindsey Graham's well cooked goose, yes. Okay, I don't. I just do, shouldn't just the fact that they're trying this mm -hmm. just make them traitors that should be voted out of office forever. Oh. That they are trying this. 
But yes. Remind people in 2022 what the Republican Party put us through. Right. That's yes. what we need to do. Yes. Okay. Um. I. Oh, here's one. I can't. Maybe this just happened while I was walking. Politifact uh, tweets new. These are the facts we have to check now. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Joe Biden did not hire a reputed Philadelphia mob boss named Skinny Joey Marino to fabricate hundreds of thousands of ballots. That's a thing. That's out there. That they, someone in the Trump camp is claiming. Also, the New York Times last night had to debunk a story about some German server. Oh no, I've got that. Oh, where's my music? Where's my conspiracy music? Wait, hang on. That was new. Also, That's, I was like, what is I, this? So I, I don't get it. Are they? This is kind of like Trump's uh, sex life. He's just right. He's like dropping them for newer, hotter conspiracy theories. Like, cause one thing that he would stick with one thing, yeah. And then he's like, what happened to that? Like, is Dominion is old too old now? Is he as Dominion aged out of his dating pool? Well, I'm like his mis- dating electoral pool. Yeah, well, I can't keep up with this stuff. So last night, I tried to get ahead of the game and I went on Parlor. That's even scarier. <laughs> okay, so he is dating a new, younger uh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> That's the thing. They don't even stick with one thing, no. even in court. It's just <laughs> dead people. Then then that gets debunked. No! <laughs> Overvote! I don't... Something. They're huh? throwing everything against the wall. Right. No. The army didn't seize a German sh- server showing a Trump landslide. Makes- Allies of Trump are spreading another baseless rumor about a computer-based vote manipulation. The newest conspiracy theory involves Skittle, Skittle, Skittle. How do you pronounce that? S C Y T L. Sounds like Skittle. Yeah, let's go Skittle. Okay. How about Almond Joy? A software company in uh, Barcelona, Spain, that makes software for local election officials. The false theory alleges the U.S. Army recently raided Skittles office in frankfurt and seized a computer server containing authentic vote totals for the 2020 election oh my god in germany yes but it's a company based in spain oh okay this undoctored data quote unquote the theory claims shows that trump was not defeated but instead won in a landslide with 410 electoral votes wow this is quite a cover-up um both skittle and army the army have refuted the claim that'd be the army that's currently oh, so Trump's sp- the commander in chief. Hang on. An army spokesperson told the Associated Press there had been no raid on Skittles office and no server seized. In fact, um, in a fact check posted to their website, Skittles said it did not tabulate, tally, or count any votes in U.S. elections or have an office in Frankfurt. But other than that, the raid on the office in Frankfurt that stole the machine that it was then repeat. Oh, Louis Gomert started this. Okay, oh, in an interview wow. with Newsmax. Okay, got wow. it. Um, okay. Some people have shared the Skittle theory. Have also alleged the company has uh, ties to George Soros or oh and, oh, and Bill Gates. The president of Skittle said we have no investment from George Soros or Bill Gates. So everything, everything other than every single detail of that entire <laughs> thing being incorrect. So, so Skittle is a real thing. They just got been caught up in a in a right. conspiracy. Yes. Okay. Don't have an office where they said it was rated didn't count u.s votes yeah, did they're, i okay based in barcelona they're barcelona though yeah with sexy <laughs> okay they're from barcelona, barcelona. The, yes yeah. the the fictional factory or whatever was in frankfurt that was not rated because there is no factory why do i have to did i just spend air time i did, you did. i did, yeah, on did. This, you on, put that out okay. there on your air okay all right so <laughs> We debunked it. There's the headline. Trump remains bunkered in the White House as the world spins on. It's Sleepy Don is hiding in his basement. Sleepy Don hiding in his basement. Who's a little bunker bitch? Yeah, this really is very Hitler-y, isn't it? It's his 12th day. It's beginning to look a lot like Hitler, isn't it? Yeah. It's his 12th day of the last 16 days where he's had nothing on his schedule. No, I know. Absolutely nothing. Right. It says right there. No events scheduled except pouting. Everywhere you go Just look at that Trump and Pence Their fans threatening once again With violence and racist rants that grow They're beginning to sound a lot like Hitler Vandals every night 
And the naziest sight you'll see is the swastika that will be on your own front door. Oh, that is pretty. Thank you, Rocky Mountain.